Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. And I thought I would bring you along today. We are gonna decorate my front porch, sort of. So, I need some chappy chap. Fingers still sore, getting better. Life, you know guys, life. Okay, we're at Starbucks right now. But I did just go to Hobby Lobby and I got some garland behind me. And what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna take all this stuff off my front porch and clean it, first of all. So my fern is dying, it's beginning cool at night. Time to let the fern go. My flower pots, all that needs to be put away. Sweep the porch and then I'm gonna pull out my fall decor. So, we're gonna do that and there's gonna be, sorry, I'm a little, all kinds of tangled up here. There's gonna be a little DIYing going on. I already did part of it, but I'm, I've been purging my house like a maniac because that's how I roll. Got my garage really clean. Okay, not really clean, sort of clean. But, so what I've been doing is kind of revamping my decor. So I went through some stuff and I took it apart. So things that I had used in times past for whatever, I took it apart and we're gonna reimagine some stuff that I have already had and used in my house. I think this is gonna be fun. The only thing we won't be able to do just yet is pumpkins and I will wait a couple weeks and go to the pumpkin farm by me and buy the pumpkins that I want because I would like them to last until uh, Thanksgiving. And in order for this to happen, I need to wait a little while because it's still getting the 80s during the day. So, but we're gonna get everything ready to decorate and you're gonna help me. And the only thing I believe that I purchased was an under rug that was $3.99. I'm gonna reuse my wreath. I'm going to reimagine everything else. So I don't, oh, and I bought the garland to decorate, but that was like $12, 15, $15. I got two, they were 40% off at $11.99. I don't really have any fall garland, so that I'm hoping I will have done my whole front porch for under, $20 until I buy pumpkins and then you know that's a little more expensive but I don't care I love them so right now what I'm doing is ordering Starbucks because that's a necessity and then we're gonna go home now that I have my garland and we're going to start cleaning the front porch I'll be back all right guys I'm back from the Hobby Lobby and what we're gonna do this is what I have so far it's just I don't even know what this wooden thing was and maybe a screen, I don't know. I got it at like the Habitat for Humanity Restore a few years ago. I had it used up at my house and now I'm changing my decor, so I'm not using it. These leaves are from Hobby Lobby. They were $11.99 at 40% off. I thought I would need two, but quite frankly, I don't feel like I do, which is fine. I'll use the other one someplace else in my house. I'm just taking all the tags off. And I'm making sure everything is pretty straight, right? Because I know I need to go the halfway mark, but I'm not going to do it even like. Hi, sir. Wellington might decide to help us. Okay. So what I have here is some floral wire. I'm going to cut myself some pieces. It's very thin. I don't really need wire nips for this, but... I have yucky craft scissors that'll work. And then I'm just gonna cut myself for right this second, a couple strips that I'm gonna utilize to hold the greenery on. Pick an end. And they're actually on this one, I feel like there is a front and back, but we're just gonna pick this end for right now. And let's say I want it to go right here for now on this side. Let me get myself a little more. There we go. So then all I'm going to do, because I don't want any of this permanent, I'm just going to wrap a wire through the loop 
and around and just kind of, I want this to the back. And that's it. It's like a twist tie. And I can go back and trim it off later if I need to. The white wire. But this is it. I'm just... And I'm doing it from the front side just so I can see. But we'll um, mosey along here. This is all I'm doing. Because then I can go back and fix the wires later. If you'd like them a little sturdier, fold the wire in half. Makes it thicker. You can use twist ties. You can use pipe cleaner. Craft pipe cleaner stuff. Anything that you like. But I'm just using the wire that I have. All right, guys. Oh, I love it. Now, when I get it outside, I'll fluff it. But until it's in place, it's fine. Perfect. All right, let's get onto the front porch and start cleaning. Okay. So I took everything down out here. Plants are all gone. I need to sweep, tidy up, and then we can decorate. So let's see what we can get. Okay, so here's all the stuff I've collected. Um, I think what we're gonna do is set it up in this corner over here. So let me move you, oopsies. So you have a better view. We're gonna go this corner over here. And this is all stuff that I've collected from my garage. And I like that it. it's kind of rustic looking. So here's that, I'm gonna go behind here. Guys, I love it. I love it already. So we just have, I have one more of these if I think I need it. I don't think I will. There we go. Okay. Then I have this, which I think is a, if I had to guess, I think it's a bushel basket. It's gonna go here. What do we think? Not quite done yet, but let's see. And then I'm going to fill these. Yeah, I like that better. So that's our start. I got to get my wreath hung. But I think this is going to be our tiered tray, or our tiered levels. Yeah, I like that better. And then my fall wreath, and then when I get pumpkins, I can put them out there. I'll give you a better look here in a second. Okay, I love it. I'm loving the neutral rug. That rug was $3.99, the white one, or the cream one. The welcome mat, I think I got it at Aldi for like $6 a couple years ago. That's where all the pumpkins are going to go. I didn't do anything to the thankful, grateful, blessed pumpkins. My wreath is up. Over here might get something different. I just don't know what. But that is it. All right, now on to our next project. All right, we're done decorating the front porch for now. And I am making my keto recipe which is called rolls without rolls it's not a recipe I can give you it is a paid for recipe however thought I would show you I am making some thin like almost muffin top thickness rolls to have football season is coming and some of you might remember from last year that I work oops I work at the football games and I have to bring, okay, I don't have to, but I'm there fairly a long day, like seven to eight hours. So I need food 
And what I'm taking the next two games are some chicken patties, keto style. I was gonna do some bagels too, but I'm gonna end up with a bagel. But that's okay. Um, don't wanna waste the recipe. So these are just basically going to be um, just rolls of bun to put the chicken patty on that I already have. I'm just looking for my uh, bagel seasoning, which I know I have because I use it all the time. Maybe I don't know where it's at. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was gonna make half of them, everything but the bagel. Just because. Um, and what I'll do is freeze these in two packs. And then on game day, I can just pull them out. Well, probably the night before, I would pull them out. And then on game day, I will have, um, oh, hot in there yeah okay on game day I'll have a sandwich to take with me all right let's turn you around hi hope I didn't make anybody nauseous there we're gonna now do some cleanup well that's baking I thought I would have more of that batter Okay, anybody use silicone mats? How do I get rid of the sticky? I am over the sticky. Greasy, sticky, all over my silicone. Oh, speaking of silicone, I, when I was getting out the silicone molds, I'm so mad at myself, I found the guard to my mandolin slicer that I used that cut my hand off basically I, I don't for some reason I thought I didn't have a guard for it but I was storing them separately which is bizarre but there you go that was happening so I did have a guard I just was dumb I mean that's basically all I got to say for that so I'm gonna make this bread so today I got a week it's Monday you're gonna see this tonight and it's Labor Day. So I'm off work. Got my front porch together. Doing some baking for next weekend. So the first, the Buckeyes played their first game last Thursday at, in Minnesota, which is nice. And they won. So now the next game is home. And it will be next Saturday, and it's at 12 o'clock start time, so I have to be there at 9 in the morning, which means I'll take, I'll have some type of, of a breakfast, something. I will have my coffee with me, and then, um, sorry, I'm trying to do dishes one-handed here. And then I'll bring my sandwich for my afternoon break just something to eat because I'll get hungry I do a lot of walking um for those of you that don't know so I work at the stadium at OSU at the shoe I also work at OSU at the shot and scene center um the shoe is where football is played the Buckeyes play there's other concerts and stuff there too but mostly it's where the Buckeyes play and then the shot and scene center or as we call it the shot is um, where the Buckeyes basketball, men's and ladies basketball, and men's hockey play. And then there's concerts and all of that there as well. So I wear both, football and the other sports. Um, the good thing about working at the university is I can, other than football, I have to commit to the seven home games to work football, but the other, at the Schottenstein Center, I only have to make, I only have to work a total of 
20 sporting events in a year and then concerts and stuff, which is not a problem. Now with COVID and not working, oh, sorry, not working last year at all, there, there weren't, I didn't work March. I think I worked January and February for the sports and then March, everything shut down. And I worked one football game this year, the spring game I worked, which is not really even a game. I mean, it's a game, but it's the bucket. They play themselves. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. It's a scrimmage, Scarlet versus Gray. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be putting the silicone directly on so let's not there we go I was smelling something I think it's the silicone anyway um yeah so my rolls are cooking and then I will freeze them I'll show you the chicken that I use let me start this dishwasher <laughs> my beater got stuff there we go um I'll show you the chicken that I will thaw. And what I'll end up doing is having one piece of chicken for a dinner and then the other. These are um, chicken patties, ch chicken burgers. I get these at Costco and they're really good and they're clean, low carb, and they thaw real fast. So I will make a sandwich out of this the night before. And then, um, yeah pack it up and I'll bring a cooler, like a lunch bag and I'll put a cooler pack in with it and it will be fine until I eat it at noon time. And I bring water. And now there's no, I can bring a water bottle. So I'll probably bring, I'm pointing, but I'll probably bring my bicycle water bottle and throw it in my bag. We're allowed to get water. What we're not allowed to get is, um, so, well, we had to buy like soda and stuff and it's no cash this year because of COVID and all of that. So it's credit cards or bank cards only, which I mean, it's fine. I don't really buy anything while I'm there unless it's super cold and then I get coffee, but it's not going to be super cold this weekend and it probably won't even be cold to be honest until the last couple of games. So. I will bring you along with me when I work because it's fine. I'll show you the, I did last year or two seasons ago as well. All right, I'm gonna get these baked, get them out of the oven and then I'll show you what they look like. Alrighty, they're out of the oven. They were a little thicker than I was intending. So what I did is I just cut them in half. That's the thickness I want for my bun. So I cut them in half and I'll have three everything and three regular. And then I wrap them up in a little cello just to keep them fresh longer. And then I put them in a zip bag, try to get all the air out and I stick them in my freezer. And then when I need one, I can just pull out one at a time. Um, here's the bagel that kind of cooked a little weird. It was just left over. I had the um, donut maker out because I made onion rings last night for dinner. But look how airy that recipe makes this. It's very moist. So I'm gonna have that later as like, you know, a bagel with some cream cheese I bought. So we'll do that later. These will go in the freezer. It is like 2.40 right now, so it's kind of between meals, so I don't need anything. I'm drinking some iced tea and watching Dollar Tree hauls, because I gotta get, well, I need to get ready to record mine, but ugh, people are getting Christmas already and I'm not. I have been to all of my local Dollar Trees and then some not so local. And I don't have, I don't have yet, um, Christmas and that makes me sad all right so I'll leave that for later and this is the I get the um, everything but the bagel seasoning at Trader Joe's speaking of I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I got some good stuff I'm gonna put my cellophane away I'm trying to keep my house tidy guys 
and that is a challenge when you do a lot of cooking. Um, here, well, I gotta clean out my coffee maker. Um, so I went to Trader Joe's. If you have one in your area, I love them. You know, they're expensive. I will admit that wholeheartedly. But I love Trader Joe's. And what I, well, I have bought there in the past is this cold brew instant powder. It is good. I like making it in as cold brew. It dissolves in cold water, but I also make it as hot coffee. If I just want a cup of coffee and I don't feel like brewing coffee, I will so make some of that hot. Sorry, I was getting rid of the coffee grounds. It's good. Um, so yesterday they started bringing out their, all their fall stuff and they really do a good job of tons of pumpkin spice, everything, fall flavors. Not a lot of it I can eat, but if you don't follow a low carb, low sugar diet, they have a lot of stuff. But what I picked up, I got a candle. I got some Himica. More, I like the Himica sticks. I didn't get the wraps this time um, because I was making bread. I purchased some of the teeny tiny cucumbers. I just love snacking on those. I got pepperoni, tomato uh, pasta sauce or pepper pizza sauce, I'm sorry. I'm gonna make a chicken crust pizza this week. What else did I get? I didn't get a ton of stuff, but I got a lot. I like I like their food. Oh, I got this. To try, if I can find it. What did I do with it? Here it is. Himika, I got the cucumbers. Yeah. And then I got this, and this is, it's called bread cheese. And it's cheese and it says microwave for 30 seconds or saute, serve as is or with your favorite tomato sauce. And it's garlic. And I'm gonna slice it into like French fries. And it holds its shape when you grill it, I believe. So yeah, and there's two carbs per serving and this is six ounces, which is a little more than a cup. And, uh, oh, six servings. So this is, you know, you can slice it, but I'm gonna slice it this way. Yep, so I grabbed some of that to try. I like trying different things and they do have a lot of variety. These are the teeny tiny cukes that I love from there. Guys, look at the little cukes. I'm assuming they're like pickling cukes, but they're delicious. So that's it on that front. My kitchen is tidy. Maybe I'll show you, I'll bring you in and show you what I'm working on currently, which is my cross stitch. Let's do it. All right, guys, here's my latest cross stitch project that I'm working on. Oh, let me get that out of the way. And this is, what's it called? Nevermore by Lila Studios. This is just the bottom band i'll show you here let me move back get myself comfy and then i can show you two or two of the flosses that it called for i think i have all of the, all the called for floss except for one i didn't want to buy the silk floss it was a little expensive but right now i'm working with weeks dye works in the blackboard color and uh, the bottom banner is in Lagoon by the Gentle Art. These are over dyed or hand dyed flosses. So there's a uh, variegation in the color. So when you're doing big blocks of one color, it gives it more visual interest, I find. So these are the flosses I'm using so far. There's a bunch more down in here. Here's some of the other colors that we'll be using on this. This one is iron skillet and that's pretty much a dark black brown that's for the crow we have another blackboard we have gunmetal which is like a gray uh pecan is another color romance is one but i don't think that's what it called for i think i brought that down to, to see what i wanted to do but let's see what else I got in here. Oh, I got more colors. Hold on, there's more down in here. Oh yes, there's more. Um, then I got another cast iron skillet. This is straw. 
And then the other color I got is this maroon. Instead of, this is the replacement for the silk, which I hope this is enough, but if not, I can get more. This is by Anchor, and it's six-stranded floss on a spool, which is kind of exciting. And, um, yeah, kind of excited about this. And then I grabbed this purple. I wasn't sure which one I would want. So I've never used either one of those. So that's all of my flossy business that's going on in here. And here's the pattern. It is a quote from the Raven. It says, once upon a midnight dreary, while I ponder weak and weary, quoth the Raven. So what I have finished so far is this bottom band. That very, very bottom band. And now I'm moving on into the, this dark color. That is what's next. So I'm working on this. I finished the roof on my Kringles department store and I wanted to work on something kind of fall and Halloween-ish. So we'll call it Halloween-ish. So I switched over to this project and I'll work on this for a while. And the name, I'm sorry, the name of the designer is Lila's Studio. Yep, and it comes with the pattern and all the directions in the back. And then I bought the floss separate. I keep my floss on these uh, book rings. Just keeps them organized. When I bring them out, these colors haven't come out yet. I haven't needed those. I'll probably put the lagoon away. But that's what I'm working on now. And this is a project bag I ordered, I want to say last year from Canada, from Evertote. Her name is Caroline and she sews these bags and I saw it with all the cats and I had to have it. And look at the little zipper pull, <laughs> so cute. So I do keep my projects in padded bags. I make bags too and I'm actually gonna be making some for Christmas presents, but I wanted this one and I wanted to support her business. But because of them, I keep the, my projects protected in these bags to keep the, I don't even know what that is. Oh, I know what it is. To keep the um, the fur to a minimum, especially on these flosses. So this is five yards of floss. So I think it's le a little less than a DMC and it was $2.25. So they're just a little more expensive. That spool of yarn that I got, which is, what did we say, 10 yards? Uh, 10 meters, 10.9 yards was 75 cents. So they're a more pricey, but I enjoy them. So that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna sit here and work on my project. And yeah, I will talk with y'all later. And I hope you enjoyed getting ready for a little bit of fall at my house. Have a good one. Bye.